You're listening to the Marketing Club, and today we're gonna speak about something called Goodhart's Law. And it's not a real law, but let's refer to it that way because that's the name of it. So if you're interested in marketing, chances are that you are also looking to build some kind kind of following. For example, an audience for your website, a customer base, a list of clients or something like that. And this applies to you. So listen up. It's a mistake a lot of people do when they try to do their marketing. Some I see this all the time and I even experience my own clients falling for this. So I need to call them out on it. And as I talked about before, it's something called the Goodhart's Law. And it goes something like this. When a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. What do you think that means? When a measure becomes a target, it ceases to be a good measure. So let's say you're a writer who started a new blog about, uh, let's say, smoothies. All you want is to get people to read about your delicious smoothie recipes. So you Google for some tips on how to get more readers. And soon you discover a secret. You can share your articles on Facebook. And that's what you start doing. You set up a Facebook page for your blog. And each time you publish a new article, you link to it on Facebook as well. But then you might think, I want to be the smoothie mafioso. The almighty king of blended fruits and wedges. I need to go viral with my FB posts. So you pull an all-nighter and you plan for Facebook domination. And soon you also find out that you can get more likes on your Facebook posts. If you ask your followers to react to your post. And tag a friend. You also notice that memes and funny videos get the most reactions and likes so of course you start posting more of that and it all works like a charm because you get more and more users to like your posts and then you start moving to instagram and you buy a bot that fires off likes and follows people and you get people to follow you back and soon you have something like 4000 followers and you're really proud of that but the thing is You logged into Google Analytics last night and your blog readership hasn't improved that much. Not in relation to your likes and followers on social media. All you wanted was to get more blog readers, but that didn't work out. Why? Because you started focusing on improving the metrics. They weren't fundamental to your goals if they had remained only a measure likes had been a great indicator of how many people enjoyed your content but then you turned them into targets and you wanted to find ways to improve the metric of facebook likes And instead of creating a strategy to build a fan base who reads every blog post you write, which was your original goal, to get more blog readers, you laid your eyes on this shiny metric. You figured out how to get that extra like, but not how to get a new blog reader. So you can't confuse targets with your measures. And this is applicable in a lot of other situations as well because let's say Google Ads for example on their advertising platform they got something called a quality score and it's a score of 1 to 10 that Google generates to show you how good your ads are and it also tells you what bits can be improved with your campaign for example you might need to be more 
relevant to the Google searches that you show up for. Maybe you need to improve the, the experience on your landing page. And although this kind of quality score can be useful to find ways to improve, it isn't always that great. Sometimes you have a great campaign running, it's very profitable and it leads to a lot of new sales, but it has a low quality score. That's possible. And in that case, some clients I've had obsess over this petty quality score and they spend months trying to improve that instead. Just because that's something they've made up in their mind is important. But the thing is, the quality score is a measure. So instead of focusing on what actually matters to their business, like sales, customers and money, which is valuable as hell, they focus on the metric a quality score even though there is no inherent value in that metric there is no real value in likes followers or a good quality score on google ads nothing of that will pay, pay your mortgage nothing of that will put food on your table so why would you focus too much on that and don't get me wrong, metrics are a great way when you use them in a way that suits your strategy. But you can't obsess over them and you can't do this mistake. You need to keep your eye on the ball and you need to go for that. So I wish you a great day. And if you remember, in my last podcast I mentioned I was going to make a comparison podcast about click funnels and the five themes i'm going to do that next time stay tuned for that that's all for today have a great day and i'll see you next time see ya